Quick update on the Porsche 959 Tribute Car. Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So this is a final instalment update of my um, 2020 Porsche 911 GT1 on the T803 chassis. Um, obviously we've done this as the um, 1986 tribute to the Porsche 959. Um, so I've made a few upgrades since the last video. If you're interested in the build, I'll put the full chassis build video and also to getting it to this stage um, in the description should you want to watch that. But it's about this short video, so just about finishing this off. So what we're gonna, what I'm going to show you, um, I'll bring the camera over and I'll show you what I've done so far since the last video. But basically, um, I chose to do the, the rear bottom spoiler blue. And I've, I've redone that, so I'll show you a close-up on that. I've also fitted a Tamiya cockpit to it now, um, which was a bit of a mission. Uh, and I've also sorted out that this car had a wheelbase issue where there was the, the gap at the back was too big from the, wheel, the edge of the wheel to the wheel arch. Now, I've seen loads of guys' pictures who have built these recently, and some look spot on and some don't so i'm not too sure what's going on but i'll show you how i've corrected this by using four o-rings on the front that's all but i'll show you that in detail but the main purpose of this video is the wheels have arrived now now this is this is this is complicated so when i first saw bell bell habib's car when he did this first he went with like a a yellowy gold um wheels on it now, as soon as I saw the picture, I fell in love with it because instantly I recognised it as the Porsche 959 Tribute. Um, and that's what I want mine to do. So the wheels have to be yellow. But for me, it's a must. Now, the daft thing is, since I put these wheels on, this thing looks absolutely superb. I get that. And when I do this change, it might not look as good in the overall. But... Again, I have to re-emphasize, this is a Porsche 959 Tribute just on the um, 911 GT1 body shell. So it's crucial for me. The one thing I would say is, obviously, the full decal setup is the Porsche 959 from 86. You know, we could we could use the Rothman stripes, but I, I, to do a different car or just to do a more sort of unique GT1, I could have used other Rothman details and not put the 959 um sort of decals it's this is actually copied from the 959 so the yellow wheels is an absolute must for me so sorry for the going on but i think at the end of this video you might say well it looked better with white wheels it quite possibly will look better like this than from the change i'm going to make on it but the point is this is a shelf queen for me and when i look at it i want to know that it's a 959 tribute Right, I won't mention that anymore. So we've got these set of wheels, which I'll do a close up on. These are exactly the same, well, it's two piece wheels with the chrome outers, but this has a full, uh, a standard black, almost filled in wheel. Um, these are the adjustable ones, the same as these, where you actually get, I think it's plus two and plus 10. So on the shallow wheel it's a plus two offset and then if you turn it round and put it on the other side it's a plus ten offset so i'm hoping that they're identical to that because if they're not then we're going to have a problem and i won't be able to use them but um we'll we'll look at that when we get into it so i'll bring the camera over now and i'll show you the what i've done so far and then we'll jump onto the wheels so the first change i made is as i say i took the wing back off and I painted it the PS4 to match a body. Now, I initially left it white because I thought it would look better, but um, it was quite obvious as I, as I sort of sat and stared at it that to follow this contour, it has to be blue. So as I say, I took it off, sprayed it, masked it to leave a little bit of white, so the white's here, and then obviously the cut lines there. I had this spare decal left over, so I put a full one on, and then if we just stick that back on, like that so as you can see now it fully flows with the body um, right up into there and it looks really cool I have to say in blue so that 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 has made a hell of a difference to it so next up as I say I fitted a Tamiya um, single seated left hand drive cockpit into there um, I'll take the body shell off to show you but it was pretty involved to get it cut correctly 
but it looks absolutely awesome um, it really has improved the looks of the car as you can see obviously I did his helmet yellow and that's to match the wheels in the future so I'll whiz the shell off next right so just before I whiz the shell off I'll just show you that wheelbase so basically obviously the shell comes pre-drilled two normal body size post holes in the front but the two sort of standard Tamiya oval holes in the back which gives you a little bit of play and that's what I've used to get it correct so let me see if I can bring the camera up so you see the oval here and it, this body now is forced forward um, and the reason I did that was because there was a huge well, not huge gap but this just didn't quite look right especially for when the car was on an angle it um, it looked wrong either way the front always looked correct it was just the back so what we've done is we've stretched the front mounts to put the body as far forward as it'll go to these holes but that actually just lines that wheelbase up perfectly so as I say we'll take the body off now and show you how I did that so as I said on these two body mounts at the front all I did was get that so there's just one screw so I've got some longer screws out um, took this off put two o-rings once the screw was through and then tightened it up so there's actually two o-rings compressed in there now on either side and all that's done is brought the body shell forward probably two to three mil but as I say that's cured that rear um, issue that I had and then the cockpit unit that we've had painted up as I said when I first built this car I wasn't going to put a cockpit in because it's got really sort of sporty windows and you can't fully see it but um, once I kind of played around with it I kind of got it looking half decent so I've just masked it in at the moment let's just lift that camera up um, but you can see how much of that you have to cut away these cockpit units are normally probably another two to three inch longer than that but I had to cut all this away to cut this angle away for the wheel arches and obviously this chassis has the um, center pulley for the belt tensioner so I've actually taken that off at the moment um, but I, I need to put that back on to see if this will sit correctly and obviously I do need a much better way of fastening this down um, I mean this does the job for now and it is a shelf queen but yeah it's it's more more of a bodge than anything else but you get the gist of it of how it looks <clears throat> if I can get at this angle you can see all these clocks and stuff which look pretty cool right so what I'll just show you now are the wheels we're using so this is what we've got um, so what I'm going to do first job is I've got the now these are the only tyres I have these are the Tamiya racing slicks with the foam in inserts these are the expensive slicks that Tamiya do now these are great if you're running them but for me the two the, the soft the standard kit tyres you get are these and if they've got more sort of square look to them if you can see that um, so I would have preferred having a set of these to, to use but nevertheless this is all we've got so we'll get these wheels opened up and we'll get the tyres mounted and we'll set a pair to the inner and a pair to the outer offset and then we'll mount it on the car just to make sure there's going to be no surprises when we put the body shell back on right so I've just done a quick mock up of, on one side of what it's going to look like but obviously we're going for the yellow winners um, and that's with the racing slicks on as well it actually looks okay it's, it doesn't suit the car now the wheels are different from the ones I had which is unfortunate this is just my standard Tamiya offset issue I always have um, my fault for not doing the research so the fronts um, need to be packed out very slightly um, the rears are pretty much okay slide that along give you kind of a better view but it looks good um, a lot of the chrome funny enough on this back wheel um, you can't see this is on the deep setting but because the chrome so shiny all you're getting is it's like color in the inside black so there should be a lot more chrome showing so hopefully when we make those brighter that's going to look better but um, yeah you get the gist of it and now I know that it is kind of going to fit so what we'll do now is we'll, t we'll get these off and we'll start the painting process right so as I said that's what it's going to look like close up now these are the oops these are the outers that we've got to paint um, which are all going to be yellow 
they've got some like studs around the edges um, and on the inners so if I can get these nice and the kind of yellow I want then if I get like a cocktail stick or something like that I'm going to dab round those in black again over the yellow and that should add a nice bit of detail to that and then obviously at the end once they're in and screwed down we'll, um, we'll fit the some Tamiya uh, or some tyre decals we've got they don't fit the best to this soft rubber but um, I'll take my time and get them on as good as I can. But anyway, that's towards the end. So um, unfortunately, I don't have any spray paint and paint at the moment's hard to get. So I'm going to just do it with the um, Tamiya X8 yellow. Um, I'm hoping just one coat because of the black underneath. Because I don't want I don't want it a brilliant yellow. I want it a kind of darker yellow. So I'm hoping just with one coat that might be good enough. And then I don't know if you can see it's on camera. If you can see. Can't really, well the bits of chrome are showing through so to get rid of that I have to put some black over this chrome area here so that's um, we'll use which is it Tamiya um, X1 which should stop that, that chrome showing through well it will do because it'll be black and then once it's on the, the wheel once it's on the car you're just going to see the yellow with the black detail and none of that chrome so anyway that's the plan let's get cracking Right, it's too late to complain, the paint's on. So that's what I just did with the inside of those, those chrome bits, just to darken it so you can't see it through. And obviously you get the gist of these. Um, got to wait for this to, to harden now. And then there's a couple of touch-ups I've got to make where the yellow's gone through slightly. Um, but overall, not too bad. So once they dry, then we'll fit them in the wheels and then we'll get the, um, the decals cut out, just like I've got Michelin. I think it's Michelin Pilot or something, but I might just cut out um, a Michelin for either side. We're a bit with these bloody silly racing slicks. We're a little bit up against it because it has a Tamiya. What's it say? It has a Tamiya slick there, which takes up that much of the tire. So um, yeah, maybe just a Michelin top and bottom there. But um, anyway, we'll get that done. Um, and then once they are, these are hardened and in the wheels, we can see if we can dab some of that black detail on I was talking about. I like the colour. If I, if I give it another coat, it'd be much brighter. But I, it's just not so much in your face, sort of yellow. But um, anyway, you'll probably see it better once um, it's on the actual proper wheel. Right, so I wait for the paint to dry and I'm just trying to add some detailing. Um, just the studs on the outside and those um, two, four, six on the inside. I think it looks pretty cool. That's uh, that's in a rear. That's got a deeper bit of chrome, um, but the yellow is definitely brightened that up where the black wasn't as good. So yeah, it's desperate to get them on the car, but um, I've just got the last wheel to finish, and then we'll put the tire decals on, which will liven these tires up. So um, let's crack on. Right, that's the wheels finished. I, I do need to go over the black bolts or rivet heads again, whatever it is. Um, just to make it a little bit darker but the tyre decals are on and they're looking pretty sweet to be honest I'm liking that so let's bang it on the car and see what it looks like well that looks very different doesn't it I haven't even got the shell on yet and I, as soon as I put them on the chassis I thought they look alright boom now that's a 959 replica I know the wheels are different because they're not the same pattern but it doesn't matter it's the colours. Oh, I'm loving that. I really am loving that. It's not a really bright, sort of disgusting yellow, like the sort of original 959 plastic wheels are. That's that's a little bit more subtle. But for me, yeah, for me, that works. And that's the other side. That's very smart, actually. That's very smart. I've got to admit, at the beginning of this, when I started painting them, I thought, I'm not going to like this. But... Um, yeah that looks awesome and the final look which i just think this is its best angle but uh yeah i'm liking that yeah that that definitely works and i'm definitely calling that 100 percent finished now i am not going to touch this car again it's going to sit on the shelf and look very very pretty um i'll be interested to see in the comments what you guys think Sorry to go on about the colour of the wheels and whatever, but I know a lot of guys are probably going to go, oh, it looked way better before. But, again, for the last time, it's a 959 tribute car. And now, for me, at first glance, you know that. 
whereas before it just looked like a, a really cool kind of Rothmans racing car. That's just my opinion. I guess it. I guess a lot of it depends on how much knowledge the person looking at it's got of the 959, I guess. Um, anyway, mega wrapper. I've got to finish the detailing. I'll put more detailing on the wheels, but um, I'll do that after this video. But um, yeah, very, very happy with that. So I'll end that video here. So once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. It's much appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you like what you see, that don't make sense, does it? Just please smash that subscribe button and notification bell for our weekly videos. And most of all, guys, happy ass eating.